start with number seven, and that is Secret Sign, who won last time out, taking a big step up from his race course debut. Huge step up, first and second run when winning at Windsor, but even after that race, he's only rated 75, which gives him a couple of stone to find. If we uh, move back round to the other side, we can find coming up on the right, number six, Master of War, who's the man of Richard Hughes, trained by Richard Hannon. Very progressive, took a Newbury listed race last time out in pretty good style and comes here at the absolute top of his game. Behind that, David Barron's representative, number one, Ahern, who I feel was a shade unfortunate in the July stakes. And a little bit unfortunate in the Norfolk. Before that, he's, uh, he's met a little bit of trouble both times. He's a very laid-back type of character. He's the form horse. If we move back round to the right-hand side, we can pick up immediately behind us Exton Hall, who uh, represents Richard Fahey. But beaten a couple of lengths or brought in over two lengths by uh, uh, Master of, uh, of War, who we've mentioned. So a little bit to find. A nice horse, a decent horse, but a little bit below uh, the best of these on current form. And picking up the horse who is just where Exxon Hall was is number two, Kay Verdi, for William Buick and Mick Shannon. Yep, favourite for a race at Ascot, the Norfolk, and probably didn't get run to his very, very best that day. Previous form gives him a good chance, and the Challenge Yard in great form. Now behind, number eight, Top Boy, is giving a real buck and a kick. He yeah, wasn't he just. Six race maiden, beat two home in the Coventry. Better form when fourth in the Super Sprint last time out. OK, there's just two more to find. They're just over on the right here. The first of them is Heavy Metal, a typical tough contender from the Mark Johnson yard. There he is, number five. He's not been his best the last two, though, has he? He's well beaten the Coventry, well beaten the July State. Needs to bounce back to his earlier form to have any chance. And behind that, the final horse we're going to look at, number four, Ginger Goose for Richard Fahey. Didn't have to improve much to justify favouritism um, last time out of Hamilton. Does need to improve quite a lot to justify um, his entry here. You're looking at live shots of the runners going to post for the Richmond. And Ahern is 15 to 8. Very solid. 3 to 1 Master of War. Cave Early 9 to 2. Heavy Metal 10s. 14s Euxton Hall. Uh, top Boy is 14. 16s Ginger Goose. And the secret sign is 20s. So Ahern is the favourite at 15 to 8. I, I do like his, his chance in the race, but I think 15 to 8 is probably a little bit skinny. But he was third behind El Habayab in the July stakes last time. I just felt that he, he did hit a flat spot, and that could be used as a stone to throw against his chances here. But he was beginning to respond to pressure and then just got squeezed out at that point as he was responded. Shuffled back, had to switch round, and then finished really strongly. I, I, I definitely agree. And I say things, it may be partly his own fault because he was slightly unlucky in the Norfolk before that a similar thing in terms of he ran slightly out of room before keeping on I think he could probably do with a decent pace and I don't know where that's going to come from here I know we haven't got uh, it's a two year old race it's hard to say but where the pace is going to come from I don't know here we're going to see a hern anyway but this is the race I was just talking about and Heavy Metal also ran in the race finished seventh it was one of his more muted performances there's the flat spot there is there is a hern just having to be ridden to holder's position the winner is in the Sheikh Hamdan colours on the right but he just gets a little bit short of room in between the winner and heavy metal, shuffled back, and I just felt he was responding at that point, and he ends up being further behind than he would have been when he then produces this finish. That, that's definitely true. His biggest threat today is if they don't go very quick, and as I say, he won't have the, um, the gallop to respond off. But what he does do, and he had done in, in all his races so far, is he finds plenty. I think he's got a really good attitude. He's quite a laid-back type when you see him in the paddock. He really is... Uh, um, unfussed and I think it's sort of laziness as much as anything else if things pan out for him a reproduction of either of his last two efforts make him the one to beat yes but as he was relishing the uphill finish I suppose of the July stakes and this is a sharply downhill six furlongs yeah. apart from the initial furlong which That's is up definitely true but it depends races can be I mean it depends on pace at Goodwood frequently races are won by horses coming off they look at Olympic glory yesterday who's come from last to first it does depend on what happened he would not be benefited by a steadily run race. Do you have a draw view here? Uh, not so far this week. I mean, the only view I've had on the, on the straight course so far is that um, I don't think it's a disadvantage to race quite near the rail, but that's not going to... The stand rail I'm talking about, but that's not going to apply with... Uh, uh, with yeah, I wouldn't have thought with, with not many runners. I wouldn't mind being right on the rail, but obviously you need a clear run. OK. There's Heavy uh, Master of War going to post alongside the Hearn, and he's next best in the betting. And he did win quite nicely in different a type of ground at Newbury last time. Yeah, he did. He'd, uh, if, he, I thought he's... 
a horse who's just going the right way. He, he won pretty readily in the end at Newbury. Now, that was much softer than than the, today, but he has got form on a different surface. This is him winning here. You can see Buxton Hall behind him. Buxton Hall, who's... Exton Hall. Exton Hall, I beg your pardon, who is uh, no obvious reason uh, why he should reverse the form. And the thing that impressed this day was how Master of the World travelled. Travelled like the best horse at every stage of the race. Uh, I think he's won with a little bit in hand. Exton Hall's come under pressure first and uh, drops away into fourth, but still the winner's not off the bridle. Now, as I say, this was soft ground, there's no question, and this is his best performance. Is it because of the ground, or is it because he's steadily improving? I think overall, if you look at his record, he, he is a horse who is improving, and at the moment, I'm taking the view that that's the case, rather than the ground's essential. I agree with that. I was doing this day in the studio with Dave Neverson, and we both felt that he kind of won despite the ground, that he was just the best horse in the race, he coped with it, he didn't love it. Well, there's nothing obvious in his action to suggest he wants soft ground, he, he hasn't got that much need, that doesn't always tell, but he's a fairly fluent mover, and at the moment, I think today, he's just a horse who is going the right way. That, well, that's my take on him anyway. And Kay Birdie, you mentioned the uh, the run in the Norfolk Stakes where you felt that he was a bit unlucky. It was a bit unlucky. I think a bit below par, really. He got beat three lengths. Prior to that, he won a current listed race in an Ascot Maiden. He started favourite for the Norfolk. Um, and although he was only beaten three lengths, I don't think he ran up to his form at the Curra. So I think he's a little bit better than that. And the Mitch Allen Yards are in very good form at the moment. They have, a lot of their two-year-olds are running well. And I think if he bounces back to his very best, he's probably got the second best form in the race. OK, and we've seen heavy metal and Exxon Hall underperforming in those little bits of uh, video that we showed you a moment ago. Any reason to bring him back, back to form as we have a, a good close-up look at uh, the jockeys taking part in this race? There's the dual champion Paul Hannigan. Yeah, well, the, the, the worry for heavy metal, I mean, the, the plus is that the yards are, are going very well. The minus is that it wasn't just that last run. He didn't run very well when well beaten in the Coventry as well. So he's got a bit of a, um, a, bit of a cloud over him. I, watching the race at Newbury, it's hard to see why Yuxton Hall should beat Master of War. There, there wasn't any stage in the race where Master of War wasn't travelling better, so I, I find it hard to make a strong case for him. Ginger Goose is quite interesting. There's been a little bit of nibble for him, and he's going the right way. Well, they've got two in the race. I don't know if Paul Hannigan had the choice. He's chosen, if he has, he's chosen Yuxton Hall. He is going the right way, although I don't think he had to improve much to win at Hamilton. He'd run well at uh, Doncaster on his debut. I think the form is probably of a similar-ish standard. He certainly needs more. The secret sign who improved greatly on uh, his debut. He's a Jim Cack entry as well. Yeah, he's well entered. He proved a lot first and second round, but needs more. All in. And off and racing for the Group 2 Audi Richmond Stakes so from the stalls. Exton Hall bounces out against the rail in the a yellow cap of Key Verde, heavy metal pressing on, Master of War, and Secret Sign also showing bright speed with Ginger Goose. But is Exton Hall in the red, attended by Secret Sign in green and blue. Key Verde tracks those with the yellow cap, a hern drops onto the same owner's back with the uh, maroon cap. Meanwhile, heavy metal down the centre with Ginger Goose, Master of War, and Top Boy. So Exton Hall leading narrowly with heavy metal, Secret Sign between the pair, Key Verde. Towards the left is Ginger Goose in the hoop colours, ahead of Master of War in the black and yellow. Ahern still tracking Key Verde into the race as Exton Hall rolls off the rail. So Heavy Metal has moved through to take an arrow lead from Exton Hall. Secret sign on the retreat as Ginger Goose, Master of War, improve. Ahern still looking to pick the way through the field. Key Verde improving under the near side rail. Heavy Metal out in front, leads narrowly. Top Boy down the centre, Master of War. Then Exton Hall battling back. Ahern trying to pick his way through the field. Heavy Metal narrowly in front, driven along. Key Verde coming to try and challenge with Master of War, but Heavy Metal, tough and tenacious out in front. Master of War finding one last effort, but out in front, Heavy Metal. Heavy Metal gets home for Mark Johnston to see off the Richard Hannon trained Master of War, the two leading stables of the week, kiting out the finish. Key Verde right behind with Ginger Goose Exton Hall, Top Boy next, trading all the way back to the well beaten secret side. Well, of course, he's going to bounce back, and he's trained by Mark Johnson, and then the venue is quite often glorious Goodwood to do that, and that's exactly what Heavy Metal has done in the hands of Joe Fanning. He's quickly out of the stalls, always held a prominent position and found extra when challenged, and he has seen off Master of War, who is more patiently ridden, but was produced with every chance, plenty of time. If he was good enough to get by Heavy Metal, he wasn't. He's only second to Richard Hughes and Richard Hannon, and third is Kay Verdi, who raced against this near side stands rail, and he's finished a little gap back to him in third for William Buick and McShannon. Uh, to be fair, it's, uh, yeah, he didn't run very well in the July Stakes, didn't run very well in the Coventry. It must be, I thought there was no obvious reason for a bounce back, but other than it is Goodwood, and uh, bounce back he did, and he won emphatically, and in the Arctic might 
Johnson type style in terms of up there and battling on really gainy when a few horses look dangerous um, beginning their challenges and at the end he's well on top so he found absolutely bad. they probably surpassed his best to be absolutely honest and uh, it was a typically straightforward ride got out in front handled leading fine handled the undulation from we knew that